why is the Shroud of Turin back in the news again? And maybe surprisingly, not at Easter. So the Shroud of Turin is back in the headlines because there was a new journal article in a journal called Archaeometry by Cicero Moraes. Cicero Moraes was studying the image on the shroud, and they wanted to do this by using 3D tools. So what they did is they created two digital models, one a full model of a 3D human and one a low-relief model. And then they took a digital cloth, laid the cloth on top of each of those models, and what they wanted to study was the contact patterns between the cloth and the two models to see which created an image closer to the image that can be seen on the Shroud of Turin. Now their results are interesting. A problem they found with the 3D human model is that it creates an Agamemnon effect, where the image is stretched and widened and proportions are thrown off, creating an image that does not look like that of the Shroud. While the low relief does create an image that lines up very well with that which is seen on the Shroud. For Moraeus, this led them to say that the low relief model may have been a means by which the image of the Shroud was created. So let's get into some of the criticisms because this may be why you have seen it already. One of them interestingly comes from their use of digital tools, not for using them at all, but for using digital tools that are free and available to the public. 3D artists have criticized them saying they should have used more complex tools with better rendering abilities. Now that would provide them potentially a more refined image, but at the same time, I think if they had done that, they probably then would have faced criticism from similar communities saying, well, you used tools that others can't get in to check. Other criticisms that they're facing is that they're not offering anything new, and that for those that believe the shroud to be real, they don't hold to the idea that the image is created just from laying the cloth on a human body, but that there's something else that took place here to create this image. And so, for these critics, because Moraes does not try to explain everything about how the image was formed and generated, their results are meaningless. Moraes, however, is very specific in the intentions of their study. They say, quote, the study does not address physical or chemical aspects related to the image's formation. The focus is strictly methodological, centering on digital modeling and the comparative evaluation of the observed contact patterns. So this is why the Shroud is back in the news. It is not a fully debunking of the Shroud. It is not a prove it all about the Shroud. It's a 3D study of the Shroud.